been wondering why lasagna and bologna both sound the same and have a bunch of invisible letters. Well, join the club. The super secret club of invisible letters. We're called the... Hey guys, welcome back to Test by Kai. I'm Kai and today we're back once again taking a look at this new massive update, but not exactly the biggest thing in the world, but kind of big as well. They changed keyframes. And what I mean by that is not something too amazingly different. I'll probably do a, a more in-depth video about like a bunch of keyframe stuff and I'll probably make a second keyframe video. But for right now, I want to talk about this one thing and this one thing alone because I know a lot of people have probably been wondering they changed I off of the keyframe button. When you press I, you can see that all this stuff turns yellow over here and it adds a little keyframe down here in the timeline, but it doesn't pop up a box that asks you what kind of keyframe you want to enter. So basically what it does is it enters every possible keyframe as soon as you press I. Super strange uh, new change to Blender, but the way to fix this is either to right click uh, in the 3D view space and then down here it says insert keyframe or insert keyframe with key set. If you had insert keyframe, it'll just insert a keyframe like we just did. But if you go ahead and right click and then insert, insert keyframe with key set, it'll bring up this dialog with location, rotation, scale, anything, so forth, so what, on and on and on and on and on. Now, if you if you hit it uh, right click once again, you can see that the hot key for this is K. So if you go ahead and press K on your keyboard, it'll open up the insert keyframe menu, and then you can go ahead and insert specifically a rotation, or specifically a scale, or a location, or a delta location, or a visual location, rotation, and scale. That's uh, that's what they did to keyframes and the hot keys. I'll probably do a more in-depth video of some more of the changes. If you have a change that you've realized is different from the last uh, version of Blender, let me know. And I'll make a more in-depth video on it. But for now, hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.